As I they talk to you now, this country with the call Nigeria, it don't fail. Pata pata. <laughs> Wahala don't fool everywhere. In fact, they said that um, from the north now, see that then they give advice to the entire country. According to what we have here, they say bygones and other types of weapons you can get. Islamic cleric urges Nigerians to protect themselves against terrorists amid government failure. In recent days now, the way we will take the hear about kidnappings, abductions, terrorism, kidnapping of um, nursing mothers, even the one we get children, they kidnapped one, one person in the hospital receiving drip. Terrorists came there and said, Kai, Kai, Panchao, Kai, Boroba, Damboroba, Kai, Shege, Kai. They removed drip. Pyo! <laughs> Carry patient, enter, enter terrorism, enter bush for this country, for Nigeria. The government never make any move. We are still, we are still doing hanky panky. He never finished for there now. They say that this soldier here, he don't come drop so strong message. For Tinubu, may they increase their salaries or this country. <laughs> they may take over anytime soon. Anyways, we'll see how they be. So, make a quick quick uh, give on the full details. According to this very uh, cleric, a Nigerian Islamic scholar, that is those people, I don't know whether they follow for the people where, where they praise Tinubu or who we are telling their fellow Muslims say they shouldn't vote an infidel. <laughs> Let them vote somebody who is a Muslim. Who we pray the Allah Kobaro so that this country can be better. At this end, by prayer, they play. A Nigerian Islamic scholar and cleric, Muhammad Belo Aliyu Yabo, popularly known as Belo Yabo, has called on Nigerians to take proactive measures in safeguarding themselves and their families amid escalating terrorist threats in the northern part of the country. Yabo, while addressing a congregation in the north, stressed the importance of self defense and urged citizens to equip themselves with arms as a necessary step for protection against increasing terrorist activities. Oh, now go remember, say, the other day, <laughs> they killed a, a, an emir in the north. They killed that man. And that time, self gone. what they told us is that, uh, no, that uh, they shouldn't do anything. Um, what is, should happen now is that... Uh, the people should take it easy as the government looks into the matter. Tinubu said, oh, I will fish out the perpetrators. Because the man came out on the previous day to cry out that they should help him raise money to bail him from terrorist den. Nobody sent troops to go and rescue him. The police are busy collecting bribes in the southeast at different checkpoints. Okay. Reacting to the killing of Alahaji Isa Muhammad Bawa, the sacking Ga uh, Gobi of Gatawa district in the Sabom Bini local government area, Sokoto State, which is the one I'm talking about now, Yobes Yabu said, those who can afford to buy weapons should do so. Go and buy guns or any other type of we weapons you can manufacture. Go ahead and produce them. How can you stand by and watch a criminal invade your house, abduct your wife, kidnap you, why he uses his weapon to control you. He added that since the government is supplying weapons to terrorists, people should also seek weapons to defend themselves. Okay. After everyone has obtained their weapons, let everyone come out and face them. Since they cannot kill, ev kill everyone at once, why should we allow these criminals to eliminate, eliminate us? This is a deliberate act by the government of Nigeria by the government of Nigeria. I told you people that, you see this Nigeria, one day it will be like Libya, where everybody have their AK-47. So nobody can come into your family to intimidate you, to rob you, to suppress you, to use his own AK-47 and control an entire family. Imagine where there are five men in a family and these five men have five AK-47s in their bedrooms. And you say that you're a terrorist, you want to come there to uh, control them. You are finished. You won't escape it. No Nigerian military can save you more than that five men. Imagine where a village has it. Like in Libya now. You cannot go and be harassing anybody because you know that what you have, others also have it. So everybody now respected themselves. That is how it is in Libya. 
Yes, I mean, they tell you because I've been there. Look at the audacity of the terrorists blocking roads and telling everyone to pack. As everyone becomes so powerless, is there no resistance to be offered? May God ease our affairs, he said. Sheikh Yabo is from Yabo local government area in Sokoto State, Nigeria. Meanwhile, Sheikh Yabo was a critic of former President Muhammadu Buhari for his handling of insecurity in the northern Nigeria, particularly in Zamfara, Sokoto, Kaduna, Kastina, and Niger State. Earlier, Sahara reporters reported that terrorists responsible for the gruesome murder of Bawa made a chilling demand. They demanded a ransom of 60 million naira and five motorcycles in exchange for the release of the traditional ruler's body for proper burial. They, this one, they have killed him already. Now they want to release the dead body to the family and they want to collect 60 million naira with five Okada to release him. Dead body, 60 million. <laughs> These terrorists eh, on, a, on, a, on a level don't high. Bawa and his son were taken captive in July at Kwana Mahaba while en route from Sokoto to Sabombini, his hometown and the headquarters of Sabombini local government area of Sokoto State. The kidnappers initially demanded a staggering one billion naira ransom for the release of the victims. But when the money didn't come on time, they decided to buy the man, and after killing him, they reduced the ransom from 1 million naira to 60 million naira with five uh, Okada, you know, to come and carry the cops. This is how, this is, this is a country. That one don't go, everybody, let's move on. Nothing that happened, no protest, no outcry, no outrage. It should be not like that one day for this country. Continue. They not when I think say oh if they come out say this country go here what no be the small protest where they carry come out so and they, they arrest them like children they kill their children like say na foul or flies where is the the outrage there I beg my everybody go rest but we hear from this soldier where they cut chain they tell Tinubu make increase their money oh if not <laughs> well I go bust federal government they gonna not forget us no. All oh, in the name of the minimum wage and all those uh, area of stuff. And I want to still remind you people, House of Assembly and Senate, I want me to put this thing into law or into conclusion. In the Nigerian Army, I want you people to increase the private soldier salary from 50,000 naira to 110. Then I want you people to increase the salary of a lance corporal in Nigeria Army from 50,000 or 55,000 to 120. Okay. I want you people to increase the salary of a corporal in the Nigerian Army mm -hmm. from 60 or 57. To 135. From the sergeant above, we go know how now to do that structure. We are not getting it right in this job. The higher we walk, the lower we eat. We walk like a junkie and we feed like ants. The House of Senate, this one I'm message to now. I cannot say message to Nigeria Army. Because I know, say, now, now they sign that money for salary. We could not try increase our salary so that those when they don't marry, when they don't even marry, they go to see money to each other. That salary not they reach anything. You not reach anything. If you go market now, you carry 50000 your salary go. One hour not go for the combat. And the sack bar when you take buy food stuff, you not go full. So which one will go save? The, we reach 35 years, I want to save the money to build a house. Make we not let people, when we leave our village, come join this work, come make and pass us, more than increase this salary. Make we not let people, when we leave our village, come join this work, come better pass us. Make we increase our salary. We are not getting any money inside this work. We they suffer. We they enter, we they stay for rain, we they stay for sun. Mosquitoes, they chop us. We are entitled. 
from copper below is entitled to receive the salary of 150,000 and lowest. Then allowances to be joined so that we can be able to do one or two things in our family or help the less privileged. Work home, they work, not Jackie work, but food home, they eat, not slavery food. Home. You know, they get and right. This one, a message to the House of Senate directed to the president office. I am not thief. All right, on a don't see him. So, this one, they send strong message to Tinubu. Make it come answer them. <laughs> if not, while I feel buzzer for this country. So, power now. Make everybody help me share this video. Um, those who won't use my promo code to send money, God go bless on that. If you are using tap tap send, please try and use my promo code will be critics news. Type I'm in capital letters to get five pounds, five euro, ten dollars, and twenty-five AED bonus on top of your money, and your transaction is totally free. Don't miss out on it. I'll see you guys on the next update. Thank you and share the videos.